Hey what's up adventurers, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be again another dog food brand review. I think right now is the perfect time to be pushing these types of videos out for you guys due to the whole pandemic kind of coming back. I don't know how your city is taking it. I don't know if people around your area are stocking up on food, on water, toilet paper, all that crazy stuff. So I think right now is a good time to start kind of looking if you're feeding raw and maybe you know you kind of don't want to feed dog food like dry dog food but you feel like you have to and you want some good companies you know i'm here to maybe hope hopefully help you guys out with that the only issue is that some of these are more expensive than you know you would find with pedigree or Purina. so there is that however this dog food brand is actually the cheapest one i've done right now out of the four so i told you guys my top three personal favorites open farm you got nature's logic and origin all three of those range around three dollars and fifty cents a pound so this one's more like at 260 okay so it's a whole dollar per pound cheaper which adds up you know if it's a 30 pound bag and it's a dollar cheaper that's 30 dollars cheaper you get me so let's go ahead and dive into the video and we're gonna go and dissect just like we did in the last couple videos for these dog food brands all right guys so we're here with the sport dog food as always my first advice is never to fall into the marketing okay marketing is something that companies will use to attract the customer and really get them to purchase a product based off maybe feelings maybe something you can resonate with but in this case we need to go and throw that side of us away we can't fall into the marketing we can't fall into anything that they tell us until after we see the dog food right so there is one in particular that i wanted to talk to you guys about interestingly enough this one has 26 percent protein we kind of come up here and these are in the 30 range so definitely you kind of want to lean towards these right personally for me the way that i you know purchase dog food and kind of look at it is that i really don't like when they focus on exotic foods so this is mainly the one that i'm going to talk about today okay and i'll explain to you about the exotic foods in a bit but this is the one I want to talk about because it's honestly their best one that I've seen so far. If you guys like grain food because you know about there's a lot of stuff going on right now with the grain free and all this other stuff whether you, whether you buy it or not. This is a good alternative that is has grains and is honestly in my opinion a very good company. And I purchase this every once in a while as well. It's cheaper so this is $80 and 95 cents so if we take out the calculator we're gonna go ahead and find out real quick how much that is per pound so we have 80.95 divided by 30 pounds two dollars and 69 cents a pound right so a lot cheaper than nature's logic and a lot cheaper than uh origin and open farm for sure and you might say well what wasn't the other one 80 dollars too well yeah but the other one was a 20 four 22 pound bag this is a 30 pound bag let's look at why i kind of like this brand and some of the stuff that i kind of don't like right so we're gonna go ahead and see at the ingredients as always the very first thing that i always say is you know look at the top three the top three should primarily be protein you know at least maybe the top two in this case we have the first one being buffalo meal the second one being oatmeal and the third one being sweet potato when it comes to exotic meat this is what tends to happen i honestly like to kind of stay away from these because buffalo is so expensive compared to regular beef you know let's look a look let's take a look right buffalo meal uh, buffalo steak yeah 139 149 dollars 1000 the hell is this maple box 449 for a 36 ounce yeah you see you know uh it's it's definitely definitely more expensive than than beef it says here a healthier alternative to beef which i mean yes it is but you it decided to pack three other non-proteins that makes up most of the dog food and then you added pork and catfish and it's kind of like, well, I mean, if you're going to choose a better alternative to beef, why would you then put pork and catfish? It's still a good brand. And the reason why I say it's a good brand is because when I purchased this bag, 
I immediately got emails asking about surveys like hey please rate the dog food brand please uh, give us your opinion this and this and this they called me they actually called me and they were like hey we want to know what you think about the dog food we want to know how we can better ourselves and I was like wow like this is amazing I've never had a company reach out to me I was shocked and I, was, I told them straight up I'm like look I think that you guys are in the right path I think you guys have a very strong foothold but I honestly don't like that buffalo meal is like this I don't like that I think that you should have just put you know maybe keep it like this and give me another option that I can purchase where it's not buffalo meal where I have you know beef and then beef meal and then maybe oatmeal and sweet potato and that way it's a little more evened out and not spaced out between the second protein being one two three ingredients away so there's that and i honestly did mention this to them and i hope that they do take this into consideration and i think one of the maybe ways we can fix this too is if we have more people letting them know you know hey maybe do this differently do this this way instead so that we can go ahead and get more in here okay so that that's basically the one that i recommend the most it definitely is a good brand you know i one of the things i really like too is right here the carbs a lot of companies will not tell you the carbs they will hide this from you you have to do the math to grab it and i always forget when i'm doing this video to so check the carbs but in this case it's 30 percent carbs which is it's high up there but it's lower than a lot of other brands and i actually don't have a problem with it being 30 i think 32 is kind of the max so let's kind of stay away from the water buffalo and let's kind of see what's going on right with this one like maybe this one has more right you, you see here chicken ocean fish we have this one water buffalo chicken we have water buffalo chicken and i think they're basing themselves off the water buffalo all right maybe they're partnered with somebody in the water buffalo business right <laughs> i'm not sure how it's working but here already we see a drop in protein which is gonna mean an increase this is so cheap too wow and honestly i think that this other one the the dog food one the cub could even be cheaper if they just switch from water buffalo or give us an option to pick out of water buffalo and into beef it would be so much cheaper because the water buffalo is what bringing that price up you can see it right here this is 60 bucks for 30 pounds 29 protein 14 animal okay nice so let's look at the ingredients right it's gonna see what we got here carbs already i told you guys it's gonna go up because of that drop in protein 36 percent that's too much in my opinion that's way way too much the three separates we're gonna look at ingredients 31 this one's gonna be a little bit higher up there this was chicken guaranteed analysis carb wow okay look at this nice this is a really <laughs> I, I sounded surprised it almost makes it seem like i didn't do my homework before i started the video i definitely did do my homework a while back as a matter of fact i have all my homework right here but one of the things is that i haven't done this in a while with this dog food brand and i wanted to the reason i chose this one i was gonna pick another dog food brand this week I, I chose this one because i think right now with the whole coronavirus we need something that's cheaper as opposed to something that's more expensive so this is only a dollar and seven cents per bag i might just buy this one right now to be honest i'm short and i need dog food this is definitely definitely gonna be a good one so wow i'm really impressed with this one i really liked it so let's look at the ingredients again chicken meal we have three as fillers and then we have ocean meal oatmeal pork meal and some other stuff right salt remember that anything after salt is less than one percent guys so pumpkin carrot blueberry cranberry there's probably a freaking baby carrot in there there's two blueberries there's one dried up cranberry and there's probably a pumpkin seed in there for the entire bag because you have to understand it's a 40 pound bag one percent of that 40 pound bag is absurd right so don't don't buy into anything that's after sea salt i don't really care about that stuff like i've mentioned before i don't care when they don't advertise it as such so they're talking they're saying that this is has this chicken meal sorghum salmon oil glucosamine and 
I don't see anything there about pumpkin. I don't see anything there about blueberries. I don't see anything there about cranberries. When I go here, I really don't care that it's there. You know, it's whatever to me. Interesting here, it says potato free endurance mix, grain inclusive. So yeah, we have chicken meal, we have the millet and we have the sorghum. And of course, they do tell us that it has sorghum too. They're not shying away from it. They're telling us, hey, this product has sorghum. Another thing that I gotta give them props for. Yeah, you know, definitely healthier than corn. Uh, still kind of up there, but again, peas and corn and all this stuff are almost synonymous. They're almost the exact same thing. So definitely, Project Canine Hero is definitely, definitely a really good one at an extremely, made in Texas, hell yeah, at an extremely cheap price. Right here we have the Elite Series. I wouldn't buy this one, too many carbs. And we have this one might be even worse. Yep, even worse. So we're stuck between these two guys. If you guys are interested in a dog food brand that maybe you have an active dog, you have dogs that you like running with, I would suggest this brand. Maybe you're on a budget. $80 is still on a budget. That's a little bit too high. That is the water buffalo speaking to you. That is the mighty buffalo definitely bringing that price up to where it's a lot more than this because this one right here has less carbs almost the exact same amount of protein uh, apparently it has more animal protein and it's cheaper and it's a bigger bag so definitely definitely keep that in mind when you're purchasing i would honestly even lean towards this one if your dog isn't a puppy i would honestly lean towards this one and again, like I said, this company had amazing, amazing customer service. And that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and pause that like button. They would help the channel a lot. We can get more people in here to help them out during this pandemic. Maybe some good brands that they want to buy that they haven't even heard about. And please subscribe. That way we get the numbers up. Usually I was at 94% not subscribed. Now we're down to 89, which means that a lot more subscribers are coming in and watching the videos which is awesome awesome i really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and liking them and commenting it really means a lot to me and the dogs and hopefully we can get this channel big and out there for other people to enjoy as well and as i always say nothing but peace and love for my pack tears